I'm Garrett Bulkus with Last Bread TV, and on this episode of Image Autopsy, we understand how a buck's luck can run out. Scrapes are one of the hot spots for trail cam users. You can get a ton of photos and videos hanging Moultrie trail cameras over these scrapes. However, understanding how to look at those photos, analyze that data, and turn it into a deadly weapon can make you very effective. Lucky was a gorgeous five and a half year old 10 pointer. We targeted him the year prior as a four and a half mature deer, but fortunately for him, he had a busted rack. And even though we had opportunities to harvest him, we passed to hope he would grow for another year. The following season, Lucky was a rock star, and we used Moultrie trail cameras to target his bedding area. Once we located where he was spending a majority of his time, we created a mock scrape about 150 yards from his favorite spot on the farm. The farm we were hunting Lucky on was about 100 acres, and it was an even mix of crop ground and woodlot. We usually ran around eight to 10 Moultrie cameras on there to be able to cover what we needed. Within just days of making the mock scrape, Lucky began to frequent it, and he did so every single night. Even though we never had a daylight photo or video of him on the scrape, for 16 evenings straight, he was frequenting that mock scrape. We made sure that we had our cameras set on video mode so that we could see which direction he was coming from, and also to be able to read his body language when he was working the scrape and his other deer were in the area. We then added a Moultrie Mobile to give us real-time data to know when he was there without pressuring that mock scrape. We used our Moultrie cameras to find out and understand where his home area was. And we used a Moultrie mobile to understand when he was using a scrape. And when the first cold front in October came in, we knew exactly where we were gonna be. Understanding where this deer was, how close he was to this scrape, and the fact that he was probably within earshot of a rattle sequence allowed us to entice him in in October for a shot opportunity. Like Grant said, we moved this stand and put it pretty much right in the center of Lucky's scrape line. We had Moultrie's firing off daily, recording him there. He was hitting our code blue grave digger and sunrise came up. We rattled and this deer came out of the bedding sanctuary to 14 yards, postured up to our decoy and Grant drills him. Oh my god, Garrett! Oh, we just did it! Oh, we just did it, Garrett! Oh, I love you, dude. Oh, what a toad! Yikes! What a toad! We knew that this guy was gonna freaking explode, dude, and he did. Holy mech. <laughs>